Hey y'all, I'm be reacting to Kill Kill Sudi episode 12, and I'm gonna start this reaction in one, zero, go. All right, hopped up this. Yeah, get your payback, Kudo. Normally I'd be worried, but in the PB it shows them in the apartment, so I ain't worried at all. <laughs> Finally, she said down. <laughs> hell to the hell yeah. <laughs> I love that when she just does that pose. It's, it's just too cool. <laughs> And then I love it how Rika's just on the on the floor looking all depressed. That that's where she belongs though, if I'm being perfectly honest. And this song is really Julie always finds me. Ish. <laughs> and I always like looking at all these cute little yokai too. Oh, it's kind of sad though because aside from this ending too, Kyoko City, I mean the season, Gekigen no Gitaro 2018 also ends, which is another series that has yokai too. Ah, uh, man, both of my series that I really like with yokai are both ending today. <sighs> I wonder if they're going to switch it up and one of them's going to disappear or maybe they'll stay intact this time. Hmm. Oh, go to Spears this time. Huh. <laughs> I wonder what she has to say. You win this time, see again. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think the talk was a cute name. I mean, it's always way easier to pronounce than than her other name for me. Yeah, that's kind of like the nerving thing. Man, why doesn't Rika just put those things to like helping people out or going for a much more productive life? But then again, Rika's the type of person that just wants to see the world burn. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, that's doable? In the series? <laughs> oh, gee, I like him. For a second, she looked like she was knocked the hell out in hearing that. I wonder if that's what Rika's gonna aim for eventually, going for go. Oh, it's really smiling to see girl smiling at her. <laughs> Are we gonna get a head pat? A hug? Some? Head back, okay. Hmm. Oh, I love that selfness. Is they both care about? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Whoa! <laughs> 
She went to shop. Hey, can't blame her for shooting the shop to go for the 18 plus rated moments there. Kotoko, I salute. And I also root for your endeavors too. I support the Kuro and Kotoko ship completely. It's actually nice to get to see a celebratory sequence in bright colors, considering the last few episodes had like them style with in a good when I mean that in a good way, but now this is a nice contrast with the bright colors, has a nice celebratory factor into it. And since the use of brightness in this series hasn't been used recently, it really makes for a beautiful sequence, visually and art wise. Aw, now it looks like a knight carrying his princess. <laughs> Oh yeah, Saki. <laughs> oh man, she's gonna have more PTSD in regards to Yoka. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> All I'm sure ever could tell because she would prefer it if. Kudo's legs were being used as a pillow and Saki were driving. But then again, yeah, Saki, I understand her nerves and all that about seeing a gigantic ass guts in Yoka thing. Good. Ah. Good. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And that's the scary thing with all the tech nowadays. You just emit a snippet amount of information that can make people believe something completely false wholeheartedly. Now, I like how the series has that message where information truly is power. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, all right, that's a good stance. I, I would be the same way. I wouldn't want to make someone like a token mind of me, too. <laughs> oh. At the very least, we have a sequence of mourning. Because I was hoping we'd, be get, we'd get that earlier, but I'm glad we got it in this episode. That's nice. Because some animes, when a character dies, they sometimes forget to have a scene, even a simple sequence of someone mourning does a lot. So that's cool. It makes you feel the weight of that officer's death. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> well, it's because probably... All right, that's sweet. And I like that too. It shows you his faith in Kotoko's strength in saying that. Not even, not even thinking about abusing his abilities. Cool. Huh. 
At least now we know her motive. That actually makes Rick uh, more layered. Still though, I think she would just live her life. Oh. That seems like a gamble, though. Because even if she creates someone with godly powers and they do manage to take away her mentality, that's not going to stop that individual from also taking Rika's life. Oh. I mean, can't blame him, it's one of his relatives. <laughs> mm. Oh. All right. At least someone said it. Look at probably a best speak. Acquaintances at the very least. See why? Because she doesn't have immortality, and she's still willing to put her body on the line. Ah, that explains it. Oh, okay, that puts everything into context. Oh well, yeah, she is gonna become a natural target. Yeah, Rik Kotoko is the type to not let fear control her life. Aww. All right. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. And also, I like moments like that showing you that Kotoko, even though she's always playful and tries to buzz a chapasaki, she does care and subtle things like that. So that is some nice characterization for Kotoko. And character development too, because it shows you some of her gentler moments. I don't like that establishing show. Wait, it's over? 
Oh, wait, wait, I was gonna say, whoa! <laughs> Oh, okay, it was just a half a hand point. <laughs> I can't wait to see your expressions with the calendar date. <laughs> oh man, I love her cutie paranoia! <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, good. Nice little we'll covering up. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> hey, he laughed. <laughs> it was funny to him to an extent. Or I love cute moments like that with a nice chemistry. <laughs> That's code for she's mad. <laughs> Trying to just... Alright. Nothing wrong. Self-improvement there, though. I'm trying to, like, increase your form. Impressive, actually. All right, good. Good house surveillance. That's a talking would actually work, though. <laughs> oh, around. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, it's a thought that counts.
Even she don't know how to react to that. <laughs> and I can't blame her. trying to hide the fact that on the inside I made her just scream with joy. <laughs> Especially with that blushing, it gives it away. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Hmm. Or I like I like all the transition to all the background shots look pretty oh <laughs> Oh man Ah Rika Seeing that termination, and even the little details with the raindrop line on her nose, it's really an adorable piece of animation. The end. Well, that was a good season finale. Def definitely dug it. And honestly, I really, really love this episode. I'm gonna rate it. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I definitely think this episode was 10 out of 10 worthy. It actually made me laugh a lot more than I was expecting. And also, it was just cathartic seeing Rika just tear up her painting. I was like, yes! And also, it did the thing that I actually wanted an earlier episode to do, which was react to... Was to see at least someone react to the death of the officer, and seeing that sequence where Saku was praying for him was nice. So this episode, I loved it, not just because of the comedy, but because it also did the, that, which I was hoping that it would eventually do. Which is nice, because I've seen in a few animes, I ain't gonna name names, this specific season where a character dies, and the writers just don't care, and they don't even have a sequence of characters even reacting to that specific character's death. And then it's by from that, a lot of plot progression, except from seeing Lady Stilonase's ghost fade away. It was also nice to, at the very least, get the air cleared between Kudo and Saki too. When it comes to, they're not gonna try to, they're not gonna try try to see each other anymore. And I thought that bit a bit of writing was good too. Then aside from that, what I also enjoy about this episode too was that. For one, it showed like those sweet moments where it shows you how much Kuro cares about Kotoko. To the point where it gave us context to why he went alone, so that Rika wouldn't be in danger. And I do like how they emphasize, not, not Rika, so that Kotoko wouldn't be in danger. I don't know why I said Rika. And then aside from that, I like how they bring up a point too when Kuro mentions it. Yeah, if we're going by technicalities, Kotoko actually is braver than Kudo, because unlike Kudo, who has the luxury of, oh, you lose a body part, he dies, he can just come back to life. Yeah, he has that luxury. Re um, Kotoko, she doesn't. If, like, literally, a uh, mortal injury were bef to befall him on top of her, she would die. So that's also another cool plot point specifically about this episode. And I even like the amount of um, character development for Sagi, because she respects... 
she respects Kotoko more, when, especially the comedic sense. She's like, I wouldn't want to make her my enemy. <laughs> that was hilarious, but cool at the same time. And then you see character development for Kotoko when she makes sure that the ghosts, they don't bother Saki. So adorable sequences like that, that show nice growth. And additionally, I just love the chemistry where you just have Kotoko just making dirty jokes on occasions or when she just leaps into like the arms of Kudo, like all those adorable sequences. It makes their friendship and their relationship feel much more tangibly powerful, much more natural. Honestly, those are actually some of the best moments in this series. Not the action bits, but the bits where Kuro and Kotoko are just talking and hanging out. At least those are my favorite moments of the series. And that's what I really thought this episode did great from a character and story standpoint. Just every sequence was engaging. I was never bored a single moment. Animation and art, what can I say? It was pretty. 